Hi everybody, I'm Julie Eau Claire, and you're watching Parents TV. Now, if you're expecting, you may want to consider changing your beauty routine to keep your baby safe. And joining us now to tell us what's safe and what we should avoid during pregnancy is the author of What to Expect When You're Expecting, Heidi Murkoff. It's so good to see you. It's great to be here. First, congrats on your fourth edition. Thank you. That is fantastic. I'm very excited. In your book, you yes. call pregnancy a radical full body transformation, <laughs> yeah. and it really is. Yeah, because, because people talk about the glow of pregnancy, but, um, and some glow, but, but everything um, changes. Everything changes, and yeah, you can have attack of the seventh grade acne. So let's talk about what products are okay and what to stay away from, yeah. and some things that change. First of all, hair. What happens to your hair during pregnancy? Well, first of all, it doesn't fall out. Well, that's good. That is good. That's the good news. Okay. Um, and it gets thicker, generally, um, because you're not shedding every day. Mm -hmm. um, the not so good news is, well, first of all, postpartum, you're going to shed all those hairs that you saved up and didn't shed during pregnancy. We can talk about it coming out in clumps. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so every uh, every uh, benefit has its drawback. Right. And okay. in this case, it's, it comes postpartum. Okay, staying with hair, it. a lot of women wonder, can I color it? Can I highlight it? Can I get a perm? Yeah. And is, are there certain times that are safe during pregnancy to do these things? You know, you got to get the green light from your practitioner okay. before you go for those highlights. Right, right, <laughs> or, right. Or any coloring, actually, for that matter. Um, a lot will say it's fine after the first trimester. Some will say it's fine all the way through. Some will say, eh, don't go there if you don't have to. Um, some will say stick to highlights because actually then the chemicals don't really touch the scalp. scalp. Okay. Um, some will say we'll try a more natural product. Um, so it, it kind of varies, but if you hate that gray, there's probably some way to wash it away. Okay. <laughs> and still be safe. You ne don't necessarily have to go back to your roots just because you're pregnant. Okay. Yeah. Which is good. A lot of women mm -hmm. are going to be happy yep. to hear that. Now I think that women love the fact, as you said, that the hair gets nice and full. Yeah. But it also grows in places that we don't necessarily want it. Yeah, pregnancy can be a hairy situation, <laughs> yes. And in places, you know, you didn't know that hair could grow uh, on a woman. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. And that could be mm, on your face, under your chin, so okay. chin up if you dare. But right, it can right. also, it shows up often on your belly, people get the fuzzy belly. Anything um, you can do to remove it that's safe. Oh yeah, okay. well first of all, of course you can shave, sure. Um, but try doing that uh, nine months pregnant. Not so it's, easy to balance. No, it can't, <laughs> you, no. You, you can wax. Okay. Um, just keep in mind that you, your skin is super, super, super sensitive when you're pregnant. So tell anyone who's doing some waxing on you to be super, super careful okay. and gentle. Okay. You can even do Brazilian as long as they're gentle about it. All right. Um, and stay away from bleaching, if you lasers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No bleaching, no lasers. Yeah, um, but plucking, shaving, waxing, the usual suspects are fine. All good. Okay. Yeah. How about tanning? Self-tanners, tanning booths, trips to the beach, okay? Tanning booths, not so hot, uh, or actually they are so hot and that's why you need to stay out of them um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, they'll overheat you and that's not good when you're pregnant. Right. And second of all, uh, you should stay out of the sun anyway when you're expecting because you tend to get those blotches. Right. Very good reason to wear sunscreen throughout your pregnancy because a lot of women end up with these splotches on all over their bodies if they go out in the sun and sometimes even if they don't. And your freckles will get darker, it won't be pretty, trust me. Sunless tanner, again, ask your practitioner, probably okay. But again, try applying that gracefully when, right. or evenly uh, when you've got a big <laughs> belly in the way. So it, it, you may need to stay a little pale. Bottom line is skin is sensitive as you said, so just it, be very careful. It can be blotchy, it can be itchy, it can be dry, it can be bumpy, um, it can be broken out, so it can be all kinds of things. It can also look great, it can glow. Oh, what do you do? Um, well, you again, check with your practitioner. I mm -hmm. hate to keep saying that, but it's what you got to do because right. certain products, Clearasil probably won't be in the clear. So a lot of the products that you've used in seventh grade, eh, you may not be able to use right now. Okay. Um, fruit acids are fine. And you know, the same thing goes for wrinkles. You've got, got to check before you apply. Um, certainly anything with retinols in it, 
is off the menu, salon menu for what about now. Botox. Um, yeah, you know, I know you've got a lot to smile about. But <laughs> <laughs> no. Keep those smile you know, lines and those laugh lines. There's good news here, though. As you puff up, which yeah. pregnant women tend to do, the wrinkles will be less noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, no to the Botox, no to the collagen, no to the lasers. I hate to be such a naysayer, but hey, but we that's want what they healthy you know, babies. It's, better, it, it's not like there's any evidence that any of this is harmful. It's just to s play it safe. How about um, nails? I really hope that manicures and pedicures are okay because oh, we yeah. need that. When you're oh, pregnant, you need you it need to it be pampered. You need it more than ever. Yeah. You need that beauty boost. Um, and here's the thing about nails. When you're pregnant, like your hair, they're really well nourished by pregnancy hormones. So they might grow faster than you can actually book those appointments. Right. Um, <laughs> just make sure when you go get your mani-pedi that mm -hmm. you are in a ventilated area. Um, you know, acrylics have that really strong smell, plus they can be sort of a nail bed for infection. So, acrylics, right, yeah, so you yeah. might, you don't probably need them when you're pregnant because your nails are so long anyway, but definitely polish is fine, manicures, pedicures. Um, when you're getting the pedicure though, make sure the, the pedicurist knows that to stay away from certain areas on your foot that might trigger contractions, theoretically. Is there are that certain pressure the... points on the ankle okay. and the bottom of the foot. So, no foot massage is probably a good idea unless she knows where to massage and what n not to massage. And same, true, same is true of massages in general. Um, make sure that if you go for a massage, which every pregnant right. woman needs, and it's great for that aching back, um, make sure that the, the massage therapist is familiar with pregnancy and those special needs of pregnant women and knows where to stay away so you get rubbed the right way. Well, you are just a wealth of information. I Thank try. you so Thank much you. for coming in. It's I really pleasure. appreciate having you. So nice to meet you. And the fourth edition of Heidi's book, What to Expect When You're Expecting, is in bookstores now. And we want to hear your ideas and questions. You can email us at ideas at parents.tv. Thanks for watching Parents TV, your source for the best information for your growing family. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.